So I need to go in this weird little cistern area. Hi, random folks. Greetings. Oh, there's a random cat. Interesting. All right, so we're in here. Who's Spencer Rye? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Spencer Rye, at your service. I have a friendly arrangement with the Thieves Guild. We're business adjacent, you might say. Oh, I like your beard. It's quite fluffy. Much fluffier than your hair. This is a, this is a fancy outlaw's refuge. Thieves Guild headquarters. Very empty, though. Yeah, not many folks around. We should speak. All right, buddy. Walk softly sent word of your time at Fulstrom Homestead. Said you slipped out from between the Iron Wheel's greedy fingers. You look like a badass bitch. Yes. You must be the Guildmaster. I am, but call me Zira. Titles Zira. don't carry weight when you live in a cistern. Pretty bold of you and Quen to go after the Geovesson skull. Did you know she sent a letter asking to set up a meet? Rookie mistake. The Iron Wheel read her mail. Oh, it was Quen's fault. I knew we were coming all along. That's why I sent Walk Softly to pull you out. Don't get me wrong. Quen may be green, but she planned a real heist. The kind we used to pull off before the Iron Wheel captured or killed most of us. Bastards. What? Why is the Iron Wheel after the Thieves Guild? You heard of Magnifica Valora? She's a noble from Tanith with a substantial dowry in her family tomb. Okay. She tried to steal it. But we failed, and she hired the Iron Wheel to punish us. Oh, I hear their leader thought you worked for us. Wanna make it official? What do you mean? If the great Chief Inspector Ron Beak thinks you're part of the Guild, who am I to disagree? We need good thieves, capable thieves like you and Quen, to pull ourselves out of the gutter. So, care to join the Thieves' Guild? We have nowhere to go but up. I'll join the Thieves' good. Guild. You aren't afraid of a challenge. The more you do for us, the more gold and respect you'll earn. Reputation goes a long way with us. Ooh hoo hoo! We get some foot armor, and we get the Thieves Guild costume. So once you get accepted into the Thieves Guild, you get a costume. You can call the Thieves Den your new home. Look around if you haven't already. There's plenty of work to be done. I have some questions about the Thieves Guild. What are the biggest threats to the, the Guild? Iron Wheel, without question. Well, then tell me more about the Iron Wheel's attack on the Thieves' Guild. It had already started when I returned from the dowry heist. The merchant lords let it happen. They called their guards off the streets, let the Iron Wheel smash down our doors, pull us from our homes, and slaughter anyone who ran. Bastards. He likes to say bastards a lot. Well, apparently we're not allowed to know the rest. But, you know what we have? It's a good thing I didn't really pick out my armor. Well, that armor doesn't look too shabby. I guess I could have went with different, um, with different shoulders. But I'm actually not looking that bad. Let's check out this brand new Thieves Guild Initiate costume. Ooh, I like it. It is very, very nice. I like it. Oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness, it does look better. We need us in the light. Oh, it looks totally more badass with the helmet on. That's super cool. Oh, that looks so awesome with the helmet on. That's awesome. So I just joined the guild, so I'm guessing this quest marker out here. Oh, we get to... Talk to, to that. A little extra coin on the side. It's we get to a good cause. We get to talk to Spencer Rye again. He's our first guild quest. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Spencer Rye, at your service. I have a friendly arrangement with the Thieves Guild. We're business adjacent, you might say. Oh, and what business is that? Rye's reacquisitions. I oh. track down items that have gone missing. Okay. As you might expect quite a bit turns up here, but I specialize in objects of purely sentimental value. My finder's fee for the guild is usually well above the item's material worth. Oh, well that's nice. Do you need any help? Always. When something gets well and truly lost, it occasionally requires a bit more adventure than I can stomach. 
Oh. I post those jobs on the notice board outside. But since you're here now, I think I have something you might fancy. Give me the details. The sailor is mourning the loss of his favorite wooden pipe during a scuffle with some pirates in Shark's Tooth Grotto. If you track it down, he's offering a surprisingly good sum for its return. What do you... what do I do when I find it? Just bring it back to me. I'll handle the delivery and you'll be paid on the spot. Okay. I'll be just outside the cistern in the alleyways. You can find me there anytime you're looking for a bit of work on the side. Oh, why thank you, Spencer Rye. Okay, so I believe that is one of the solo delves in Hughes Bane that we are about to get sent to. This is kind of screwed up that you have a bunch of stuff where you're scaling like rooftops due to the Thieves Guild. It's kind of sketchy. It's kind of cool. I like how they set the city up for Thieves Guild. Who are you, my friend, Sabala? This is very, very bad. These are troubling times. When we forget the past, it has a disturbing tendency to rear up behind us and bite us in the arse. That's a grim prognosis. Perhaps. But that doesn't make it less true. Did you know that Prince Hugh buried his family's secret shame in his own ancestral tomb? It involved his mad uncle Magnifico Baraha, who tried to form a necromantic cult under the prince's very nose. Oh! Just to remind you guys, we're on the PTS, so none of the facial animations, like, that's what... That's why you don't see the NPCs talk or make facial exp ex uh, expressions. None of that's in the PTS right now. They already warned us beforehand. It will be in for the live game. And that would have been bad? Oh, most definitely. Luckily, the prince discovered his uncle's treachery and trapped the necromancers inside the tomb. Priests were gathered to create a great seal to make sure they couldn't escape. Oh. Unfortunately, pirates decided to loot the tomb. I'll help if I can. What do you need me to do? You must recharge the great seal. The okay. necromancers are using the pirate's life energy to weaken it. Take my amulet, Spirit Catcher, and use it to capture the unleashed spirits. Then you can use that same energy to repair the seal. Alright, it's your amulet. Why do you, uh, you need my I help? I am the last of my order, and I walk a different path from you. If I die, the great seal will eventually fail, and the necromancers will escape the tomb. Oh. I'd like to postpone that occurrence for as long as possible. I'm sure you understand. Aren't the necromancers long dead? Ah, I see you aren't familiar with the term necromancer. Trapped in a tomb, they embraced undeath before they could expire from lack of food and water. I oh. don't like to consider how they went about accomplishing that feat. So how many spirits do I have to catch? Not many. Once the amulet has absorbed enough spirits, you can use it to repair the great seal at the tomb's far end. Ironic that the same energy the necromancers use to weaken the seal can also be used to repair it. Oh, that is interesting. Thank you. Oh, what do you want? Actually, a pretty nice place, guys. So, where's the bank around these parts? No, no, not quite in here. Oh, <gasps> what do I do to make him go faster? Okay, sorry, we're supposed to be doing stuff. Accomplishing things and stuff. Oh my goodness, you could like walk along all the rooftops! Oh yeah! This is awesome. Whee! Oh! Oh, camouflage! 